rugby players Will Carling and Will Greenwood, Simon Beaufoy, who wrote Slumdog Millionaire, and four recipients of the Victoria Cross. Sedba School in Cumbria treats education a little differently to other schools, and it produces stars. One of those differences is the shoot. Sedba is one of only a handful of schools in the UK to have its own gamekeeper, and one of those is Hogwarts. Come on, Harry. You're on film again, Harry. Run on a shoestring by the boys and girls, enthusiastically supported by parents, the master in charge is Mr Arnold. <coughs> I have uh, partridges hatching in my classroom in, in, in incubators. Um, so over 120 uh, pupils last, uh, last uh, summer term were watching partridge come out of the, uh, out of the egg. <laughs> The day starts with a briefing from this season's shoot captain, sixth former Wyndham, and guns disinfect their boots too. Many of the kids here come from farming backgrounds, and they know how important doing this is to both farm livestock and wild birds. Wyndham is a Cumbrian lad whose family farms near Bassenthwaite. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I've been shooting since I was about 10. Absolutely love it, yeah. From crows to pigeons, partridges, pheasants, grouse, anything I can get. Have a chance on, really. I'm with Bella on the first drive. Everybody out shooting today has a mentor standing next to them, either volunteers or parents who shoot. Bella has Simon. Uh, just basically to make sure everything's safe, guide on how to shoot, shooting etiquette, things like that. So everyone has a mentor, whether it's a parent or someone from Basque that comes as well. And um, it's just so that make sure everything's safe and that you learn how to shoot properly. If the parents are able to come along um, and they're um, experienced shot, um, then they'll stand with their son or daughter. If, however, the parents can't make it or the parent perhaps doesn't shoot, and we've had various families who've got into the sport because their son or daughter has, has joined the school shoot, Basque will either provide a mentor or we've got various shotgun coaches who come along. All right, if it comes, get ready. Shot. Who was that? Yeah, someone else got it. Yeah, I think somebody else shot. Someone else got it. Come out, they're going to start dipping. Okay. So they're never going to go straight unless you can see them under the belly. So you need to keep the bird on top of the barrel. And don't start in front of it. Come through to keep that gun moving. Because you're just picking a spot in front. Yeah, shot. <laughs> yeah, I think she's done really well there, yeah. She's got four or five birds down, uh, shot really well. Yeah, good start. She has her father and sister, Charlotte, standing behind her, watching what's going on. Charlotte will shoot this afternoon. Which of you is the best shot? Me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> More experienced shot is me, but you might, you might think you're better, but we'll see. Okay. I'll two months of shooting. Father, would you like to... I'm just going to sit on the fence, I think. I don't think I'd like to get between either of these and, uh, and make a decision on that one. The school is justly proud of its shoot. Here's a member of staff on hand to take photographs. And it's all run by the kids. Harry is shoot secretary. Well, I sort of do all the tips, the money, uh, registering people and that, and then I run the gun line. So if Captain will sort in the morning, then I'll do the afternoon, or if he's shooting in the afternoon, I'll do the morning like today. After a break for chocolate, it's on to a mixed duck and pheasant drive. This time, I'm standing with another lad called Harry. We're on our duck drive here, and we are, well, I've been here for... I've been here since year nine, so it's my fourth year. Um, I've been, well, running one of our main pheasant drives of today. Um, so that's coming out every Thursday and feeding round. And that takes about a couple of hours. And yeah, it goes, it's very busy. You're being very cool about it. <laughs> Thank you. Harry's mentor is his dad, who keeps him supplied with steel cartridges. Thank you. He picks his birds carefully and he brings them down. What we try and do is try and drive them up the field and then get them to come round so all the guns have a go at dropping one, maybe. Harry ends the drive on a pair of good quality birds. 
There's a break for lunch and it's a chance to find out more about the shoot from Wyndham, who is the one who invited me here today, and Arnie. These are our pheasant pies. The boys and girls have uh, processed the birds from the last shoot and they've been turned into uh, pies for the shoot today, complete with uh, a little uh, attempt at a pheasant on the top of them. So. <laughs> All of the, the processing of the game was done um, by us and then the pie mix was made by us um, and then we took that to uh, a processor in Kendall um, who made the pies and cooked them this morning and we transported them in um, for the day. Basically every Thursday afternoon we come out at about half one after lunch and then until about five o'clock. So every Thursday and then a few Sundays we come out with um, Arnie, three or four lads or girls each Sunday. But every Thursday, all of 24 of us come out. The syndicate's full. There's a waiting list for uh, for the next year already. Um, I keep getting messages through on the ubiquitous Microsoft Teams these days. You know, sir, is there any chance of joining? Um, and it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, they're very proud of, of what they do. So I've been coming for five years, since year nine, and we do from in the uh, winter feeding round, checking, emptying, blocking feeders. And then in the summer, this year we've just done our new pen up through that wood, about 20 of us lads and girls, we do that, that's good. That holds about a thousand birds, I think, in just that pen. So we did a lot of grafting through the summer. So we've got an incubator and I think we got about 200 partridge eggs. I think it was about a success rate of about 60%, which was, to be fair, it's quite good from getting eggs to incubators in a DT classroom. Because I know the year before, someone unplugged the plug of the incubator, so a few eggs didn't <laughs> quite work out. I think it's about 500 acres in total, but we, uh, we only use a, a portion um, of that. The land itself is owned um, by um, uh, a local landowner who allows us to, uh, um, to have the, uh, um, the land uh, basically uh, for gratis, but uh, um, the shooting rights are owned by the Forestry Commission, so we pay the Forestry Commission for the shooting rights. We pay the same commercial rate that anyone else would, would do, and we work with the Forestry Commission as well. Um, we've got uh, various projects going on where we work alongside the local, uh, local ranger. So um, there is a subscription to uh, um, be a member of the, uh, uh, of the shoot and um, it literally is done at cost. Um, the school doesn't contribute anything um, financially towards the, uh, the shoot. Um, it's all either the subscriptions or money that the boys and girls raise themselves at the annual dinner. Um, so you know, there is, there's no sort of a public school uh, big contribution going into them, them shooting. You know, we are only as you know, good as the effort that we put in. Um, and our shooting will only be as good as the effort that we put in. And that's very much the ethos amongst, um, you know, amongst the pupils. After lunch, guns and beaters swap over. The new guns draw pegs. I join the beating line, a mix of locals and kids from the school. I'm in the care of 14-year-old Shutty. Yeah, you're We're on the mic. You're on the mic. Oh, you're on, you're on the mic. Yeah, beating, I'm on the mic, yeah. Uh, so we're beating pheasants and partridge out of the bracken uh, and just heading them along along the wall side uh, to the guns. You've got a lot of gorse here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it stretches for about 500 metres that way. Uh, and it probably goes another 700 metres that way as well, so... Can there woodcock in here? Uh, there's, there's a lot of woodcock, yeah. You'll, you'll see a few of them coming out. Shutty learns his trade from the experienced beaters in the line. So I'm, I'm going off here, am I? At this corner. here, then you'll be to the right. Yep. And you'll see a pack that comes up to the top, I'll meet you on the top. Right. It means he has a clear idea about what he and everyone else in the line are doing. The right side, that flank is going to come round and we're sort of going to try and force any birds that are left into this section here. So the main of the guns are down here. Uh, and for now, we're just trying not to get close to the edge. Shoot Captain Wyndham is also in touch with what the beaters are up to. Fish drive, we start with beaters way out, if you can see, out there, and to that side, about 200 yards that way. About eight beaters on each team, up the scar, and we bring it in to like a clump into the middle of the flushing point. And while we bring them in, we try to have a few singles out. You tend to get a few singles out on that peg one out there and a few singles normally out on peg 10, nine there. And then quite a big flush at the end between peg four, five, six, three, normally. The birds here are coming off an enormous Lake District scarp in front of us. 
The big problem for Wyndham is not the challenging height of the birds or the increasing rain, it's the parents behind him, who have formed their own commentary team. Come on guys. There is a level of competition here. Ed shot a good one to his left and then a good one to his right as well. Pretty good birds, nearly better than his brother, but not quite yet. <laughs> The weather is grim by the last drive. George, what peg are you? All right, who's, do you know who's peg two? Keep coming down. Drives start on the whistle. Oh, no. That's dry, that bugger's wet. Wyndham can now take a step back and let the guns go to work. Give Harry some stick on this one. Go on, Harry. Oh, oh. unlucky Harry. It's all on film, Harry. Love it. Shot, Harry. Fell that one. You know what? Yeah, because he didn't have much time, so he just went, ma'am. He didn't. And again, Harry. Move in a bit, Harry. Oh, leg. Another yard in front of it, Harry. Louis will fell this. Shot, Louis. And again, and again Louis. Harry! Shot has it. That was Archie. Nearly at the end of the drive. Harry's got one, finally. Louis shot a few good ones and Imo got a good one as well. Louis on form, as you can see there. Harry, push on to Tom. Be careful, these birds are coming downhill. The end of the day sees guns heading home wet and happy. It's all the gamekeeping, it's the conservation work. The shooting is a small part of, of what we do. It's, it's year round um, working on the land, basically. For more about Sedba School, which celebrates its 500th anniversary in 2025, go to sedbaschool.org.